May 1945. The hot New Mexico desert seemed far from the ravages of war. One hundred tons of TNT, a rehearsal to scale and calibrate the power of an untested atomic weapon. Two months from this day, man would unleash the destructive power of a demon locked within the very fabric of matter and plunge the world into the atomic age. For the next 20 years, testing the power of the atomic bomb would hold the world captive by events shrouded in secrecy. On December 2nd, the first self-sustaining chain reacting pile was successfully operated by Enrico Fermi. Fermi's success brought intense efforts between government and the private sector, creating huge industries for uranium separation in the town of Oak Ridge, Tennessee, and for the production of plutonium in Hanford, Washington, at the shores of the mighty Columbia River. This tremendous effort forged the materials necessary for creating an atomic bomb. The first atomic bomb was assembled at Los Alamos, a secret laboratory in New Mexico. When Dr. J.R. Oppenheimer arrived to take charge, he began to surround himself with a galaxy of outstanding scientific stars. From Los Alamos came the bomb design and treatment of many theoretical problems. Yet many questions still remain unanswered. The uranium gun weapon or little boy bomb, was a simple design, and scientists were confident it would work without testing. The fat man, or implosion bomb, was a more efficient design, using plutonium instead of uranium. Inside the very center of the bomb was an initiator, surrounded by a sphere of plutonium. This sphere was encased within a set of symmetrically located high explosive lenses, creating an implosion which forced the plutonium into itself, attaining critical mass. instantly raised temperatures to 10 million degrees, releasing a force of a million pounds of pressure, vaporizing the tower and all desert life within a half a mile. The intensity of light was sufficient to cause temporary blindness to an observer 10 miles away. With a yield 200 times greater than the 100-ton test, the fireball created a crater nearly one half mile across and fused the desert sand into a green glass still containing traces of radioactivity 50 years later. 